Hello everybody, welcome to a slight change in our usual schedule. You would ordinarily have some main campaign Dungeons and Dragon hats today, but some stuff came up essentially. Uh, so instead I'm doing some more Minecraft Dungeons because this is a fun game and I've been sticking a fair bit of time into it. So the last time that we saw me in this particular game uh, was rocking. I think I was on the evocation robes, I'm now on the ember robe, so I have AoE fire damage, which is very good when you're squishy, like I am. Uh, I also have the 25% artifact cooldown and the plus 50 move speed aura resender, thank you for the resub. And that's just the stuff that you normally get with the evocation robes, so then we have that, and that's just lovely. We also have Forns 2 and Recycler 2 on it, so people shoot me, I get arrows, people hit me, they take damage. Yellow. Are these... oh, sweet Christ. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we just ordered food, everybody. Um, apparently for the whole block. There's another one of these downstairs. Oh, lordy. Well, um... At least we'll have leftovers? Yeah, I guess. Mm. Jesus. <laughs> Race of Ander Raid slash host. Oh, thank you very much for Zeno, that's much appreciated. Uh, but yeah, so, got the Ember Robes, I've also got my friend, my Fangs of Frost, which are Frost Daggers, they slow things, which is very handy with Creepers, because it actually stops them from exploding, until it wears off. Um, but, also, I've got Poison Cloud free on that, so it spawns an AoE damage, as well as Thundering 2, so it's lightning strikes nearby mobs as well, so that's pretty sweet, I can stun lock somebody and just kill everybody else around. Very handy. And now I've got the, uh, so before I had the rapid crossbow with the accelerate enchant on it, so it just became a machine gun that shoot through arrows like nobody's business. Um, this is not quite as fast, but it shoots three arrows at once, it has a chance to ricochet, and it also still has accelerate and infinity on it, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Let's, uh, let's show that off, why don't we? The Kieran Dave crossbow? Yeah, pretty much. So, the rapid crossbow, pretty handy for taking on, like, singular mobs, crowds, if you, like, spread it between them. This functionally has three times the capacity and is not quite as fast, but, ooh, still nice, still nice. You have double doggo squads? May bought the game for PS4 since it doesn't work on PC? Oh. I do have, like, armor and items for make for getting dogs and such, but uh, so far all I have down here is... Sir Cuffput? Let's, let's just call it that. Sir, Sir Cluckles. There we go. Sir Cluckles, the chicken. Uh, and yes, and I'm mostly going for a souls build. Now, souls are a sort of alternative ammunition in this game. You kill a mob, its soul floats up and then over to you, and you can use that to power various things. So, the classic, we have the Corrupted Beacon here, 10 power, not magnificent, I know, but still. Uh, fire is a high power beam that continuously damages mobs. Great for doing, like, clearing down a corridor, or for, like, doing some good early damage to a boss. I also have the Harvester, which is an AoE around me, which makes it really great for uh, taking out people when I get swarmed. And then I have the Soul Healer, one second cooldown, self-healing. Which is great, because that is much, much faster than my potion comes off cooldown. So, all of that, very nice, very nice. And I've managed... The Hubris Harvester? I guess. I've managed to unlock Creepy Crypt and Soggy Swamp. We previously had Arch Haven. Um, so, we're gonna try and venture into the Creepy Crypt and see what's around here. Now, yeah, we can go for four points below my power or two points above it. I'm gonna go for two points above, see how we do. Is it replacing Carousel as well or just where D&D stream would have been? Just currently it's only planned to be D&D stream. Uh, we'll see how I feel at the end of this though. Oh, butts. <laughs> yeah, that's been happening to a lot of people lately. D 
Gilgamesh? I should, should I call the chicken Gilgamesh? He is immortal. Like, things just... I don't think he can take damage, and even if he can... Even if he can take damage, I don't think I've ever seen him die, so... What kind of food did we order? Uh, I ordered chicken enchiladas. And we have two of those, I believe. Ah, okay, here we go. First tab. See what's about. So it is Gilgamesh? Yeah, I guess it is functionally Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh the chicken, by the by, is a reference to building blocks, uh, because one of the, like, creatures I use to test stuff is a chicken, who is invulnerable. So, pretty handy for testing attack behaviors. Feel like I've been in here before. Oh boy, I can already see that this is gonna get to be a maze. And so far, I haven't taken a single point of damage. Creeper. Yeah, when creepers are, are like, frozen by my daggers, they actually can't explode. It's pretty sweet. There's my forts doing the job. Alright, nice. So I'm currently sat in the World of Madness discords, but uh, don't think anybody's awake right now. Oh yeah, I am just a blender on, on legs here. Loving it. Okay. Oh yeah, we've got a lot to search. Oof. Well, let's try and search out this wing first, I guess. Run! Run! I'm coming for you! Oh, there's a button over there. I'm particularly good with my micro. I can, in fact, freeze more than one thing at a time. It's a bit of an if, though. Okay, so there's multiples of these. And yeah, I can see that button. Internet hack, I had a, yeah. Internet had a hiccup, but you're back now. Okay, welcome back, bro. Can I try and challenge yourself while I only own one wolf on a single player world? Oh no. Oh, I don't want to be down here. Just yet. Okay. And that's what the laser's for. And that's what the uh, soul healer's for. Okay, this is not the end of this. There we go. More or less, I go into dungeons and I just... ...sink every single gem I get, every single emerald, into getting other stuff. Lordy, it keeps going. Four creepers, not one of them had a chance to explode. Nice! Hey, Moritz. How you doing? Don't fly around with mobs on leads. Oh, lordy, no. No, no, no. There you go. You got to explode. Unfortunately, your sacrifice means nothing. Okay, nearly done with this wing. I haven't even had reason to use my arrows yet. Those are nice candles. Rip Noble the horse. Oh dear. Ah, button. Pushing this couldn't possibly cause anything bad to happen. Need 
this strength potion, please. It is worth noting that with a strength potion, these daggers are powerful enough to one-hit most things. Or most of the, like, trash mobs. The, the, the low-grade mobs. I wonder if I'll be able to find a neighbor for this myself. Oh. Potentially not. Okay, well, we saw another one. Up this way, I want to say, or was it down? Yeah, it was up this way. But okay. We are getting this place explored. Oh, there's another one of those rooms down here. With another button. See, increased critical hit chance to open enchantments, including thundering and committed. Hmm. Let's have a look at it. Let's compare. That, hmm. I mean, it's got a wider swing, and it is more powerful by Ritz. But it feels significantly slower, and I like how speedy my daggers are. The faster something attacks, the faster it can proc things like Thundering and Poison Cloud. And I think that's all the treasure that was down here. Oh no. Eel. These candles look very nice. Okay, back up this way. down here. Okay. The frost seems better. Yeah, the freezing things, even if it's temporary, is pretty sweet. Move that time. Uh, regular sword. Oh, there's a bunch of creepers on the side of that wall. Hmm. Fortunately, I have a crossbow. A lightning infused crossbow. Which I guess fear like I feel like that maybe should give it some kind of lightning damage. But... Lightning, maybe a crossbow imbued with lightning power should probably be like high fast, high uh, fire rate just to begin with. Okay, so that is this entire wing searched. Let's check the next one that our uh, guide is not pointing at. Definitely not as powerful Player has joined the game. in terms of like singular shots, but this is pretty sweet. Like dealing with singular targets is harder, but also I'm just wrecking things here. Can't complain terribly much. Okay. Where are we? Let's take that. Is that a... yeah, it looks like a villager... statue? Hmm. I guess more likely, villager gravestone, but still. 
Uh, okay, there is a room up here that we have not checked out just yet. Let's grab that before we head on further. Hey, Zurch. How you doing? Oh, yep, we got a button room. Kind of bad for these guys. If they shoot me, they're if, if I shoot them, they'll die. If they shoot me, they'll die. <laughs> Don't really get much option here. Yeah, regular old bow. You love buttons. Always gotta push a button. Yeah. A big a, a big red button must always be pressed. That's the rule. Okay, now my quest marker is pointing it over that way. So let's head back. Oh, I see these join up. Right. So. Doesn't much matter. I only have 72 arrows. Hmm. Feels like the, cross the different crossbows have like different capacities. I need some stun a little bit as well. I'm used to the rapid crossbow, which has like 999 capacity. Many souls. So little reason to use them. Let's see which way to go. There's a lot. Well, things keep coming out of here, so let's check this out. please. Uh, nothing up here. We're constantly clicking a clicky pen be classed as stimming. Yes, absolutely. Let's switch back to the dice for a second here. A to save arrows, B because it deals with cards better. Or faster, I suppose I should say. Ah, speaking of arrows. something down here. Ooh, yep, there is something down this way. Oh, I've seen this before. That it? Okay. Is this all you can conjure, Saruman? chest down that way, but I don't see how this connects to that. It's a surprisingly long corridor to run with no enemies. Oh. Loot chest. What we got? Uh, hunter's armor. Not even very good hunter's armor. <laughs> yeah, this is a very long corridor for how few enemies are on it. Hmm. Face me, you cowards! No? Okay. Yeah. Okay, that appears to be this whole wing checked. Let's see various oddities coming along. Cobalt's look real. Yeah, the cobalt's like it, it's been in development constantly since like 2018. I don't know why people think it's I don't I don't know why people ever think it's like finished somehow. Lord knows finished products are, finished projects are not my thing. 
constantly ongoing projects that monopolize most of my life. Yeah, those are what I do. That creeper's taking a nap. Maybe do with, like, piercing on this, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Darymon and Lotmon are your favorites because they are, like, cute tweens. Oh, They are. Yeah, very much. Anyone drawn lying as a Digimon? I don't think anyone's ever drawn me as a Digimon. Surprisingly. Very surprisingly. Okay, that looks like the way we're supposed to go. Therefore, we should not go it. Because there's... Okay, I... Hmm. I still don't see how this connects, though. So I guess we have to go this way. Also, there's like a teeny spot over here that we haven't checked, but I'm guessing I walked away from that anyways. Don't know what a Digimon is? Oh, right, yes, you're a baby. I forgot. Never mind. It's slightly older than Pokemon. Slightly. Oh. I recognize this space. Check this room first. Well, I say room. Let's check this abruptly ending corridor. And then should be, yep, the gate right there. Open the gates. Stop having them be open. Stop having them be closed. die next to me or far away from me. It's all the same. That it? Here we go. Uh, more Hunter's Armor. Which is better than the Hunter's Armor I last found. But not by very much. And also, worse than my current armor. Yeah, let's do some tidying up here. Uh, if it's below 20, we'll just scrap it out, right? Uh, bonus shot, Radiance. Radiance is really powerful. Circular area that heals all allies within it, especially with, like, rapid-fire stuff. That is really good. But that is a regular bow, not a rapid-fire. Hmm. Not as good as the sword I've already gotten there. Although double enchants, also good. In its own way. Okay, a uh, little more over here. Oh yeah, whole room, and a pot. Yeah! We found the pot room, everybody. Hey, come back! I love you. Where did you come from? Have you just been hiding behind that pillar this whole time? <laughs> yeah, that's what this <laughs> what this uh, bow was meant for. Bye. Nope, that's a bit of a ricochet there. A little bit of a ricochet. 
you survive the blast? Huh. That almost never happens. Another creeper up there. Yeah, I've yeah, I, I I haven't personally been in that situation, but I'm aware of when it happens. Like I was there when one of my cousins was born. So there. Thank you. This is maybe something they should fix. <laughs> attack for wolves. Oh yeah. Okay, I stand corrected. This is the pot room. Does the thought of me being an uncle maybe someday scare you? Tremendously. More because of like who would be the father in that kill sex rather than uh, me personally being the uncle. No, nobody? Okay. Fine by me. Whip. Oh, hey. So we're gonna call that the lying skip. <laughs> I, li I literally just... <laughs> yeah, I, w I dove off there. And falling off the map does not count against your lives. So... <laughs> yeah, I just skipped the whole group. Oh, oh hello. Diamond pickaxe? One second, something. Let me have a look at that. Finds more emeralds. So, presumably has looting built in. Also has two enchants. Uh, can be fire aspect, stunning, committed, thundering, smiting. What else down here? Yep. Anyone else down here? Yep. Eh, come on, just... <laughs> Yeah, I think they might need to tweak the attack detection just a little bit. So many souls coming my way. Souls and dick speed, but anyway. Ah, hmm. I mean, that's definitely better than the other pickaxe I have. Either of them, actually. Hmm. That looks pretty sweet. Missing a part of the map. Yeah, I'm sort of being led down. Oh, boy, yeah. Oh, I'm missing a part that has a chest in it, too. Ooh, let's go. Let's see, you want to go all the way up here. Okay, hang on. Um. The more you don't die, the more I shoot. I put infinity on this thing for a reason. Let's go. 
a speed boost when they get close. Oh. Yeah. Up here is the chest. Blump. Yeah. Yeah, the thought of me being a dad is actually quite appealing. The thought of my brother being a dad, not so much. That's kind of terrifying, because I knew the guy growing up. So my mystical necromantic healing, I cast false life. I become a YouTuber. <laughs> okay, well we got more stuff here. You better run. Even more arrows. Like they're self replenishing. Hope you'd know your twin brother going up. I mean, yeah, but that's sort of also like why it why that concept terrifies me. <laughs> My sister in law, she's great. My brother, an idiot. <laughs> Very much an idiot. Oof. Folds there, but mm. okay, nearly done this. Ooh, spooky noises. the time. Thank you for pinning me next to the emerald box. Okay, forward to the right. Heckle. Okay, so point blank with this crossbow, I can one hit a creeper. That's good to know. Terribly safe, but okay, down this away. Whoop, another archery test. Anyone else? Nope, somebody liked it, I think. I can't blame them terribly much, but it does it is somewhat impractical. Oh, a lot of creepers up there. like that it's one-shotting basic basic zombies, though. Still gotta love the daggers. Okay. Nope.
Pinning me next to the emerald box will not help you. Although neat that you theoretically have that sort of, have that form of strategy. Ooh, button room. Blum. How many times did I even have to shoot that time? <laughs> this is supposed to be like two points above my power level, but honestly, I think it might still be a bit low. What was that? Arrows. Ah, uh, let's go this way first. Even doubt, blast them out. Nothing there. Missed an emerald? I mean, two of them flew off into the void, so... Not a lot I can do there. Oh, yep, there, there we are. Uh, okay, so... Oh boy, yeah, that's a big chunk to check out there. Let's check this out here. Just cease to exist, the spider. Ricochet probably was not the best of investments I could have put onto this armor on the sheer basis of how few times people have time to shoot me. Okay, no button room. A button without a room. Is an out for any way for a sort of- yeah, in, the sort of, in that sort of mood? Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I'm, I'm in a onesie mood today, so... Yeah, I get it. Yeah, those two appear to connect, so... Doesn't matter if we take this route or that route, we're gonna end up in all of that. Uh, in which case... Spur has to go this way. Navigation! Let's get to that big old crowd. See what the party's like. Nope, didn't even have to shoot that one. there. Nothing here. There is a chest just off to the side there. Ah, and there's more to the left here. Ooh, there's a lot more to the left. This'll be fun. quality of... what's the phrase here? Uh, ragdoll physics? Creepers? They're wiggles. They're so cute when they when they wiggle like that. Okay, nothing else here. Whoever designed these crypts was not doing so for, like, visitor ease of navigation. Oh. Oh. Buff scrapers. Oh dear. Wait. We stop that. Where even am I? Anyone else? I suppose bright side buff creepers only really have to you know you only have to worry about them for like one encounter. <laughs> Either way. Yeah, that's the exit. Okay. Well now we know what that is. Ch 
chest. Remove it, loots. The designer just decided to make them as creepy and haunted looking as possible. I mean, I've done that before. <laughs> In Minecraft builds. But a crypt is meant to be, like, a place of interment where it's also, like, possible for family members to come and pay their respects, you know, that kind of thing. And I feel like the architect of this place was maybe not thinking about that very much. But who am I to judge? Maybe this- maybe the culture that built this place was not really big on visiting its deceased. Ratted back up. Let's go down here and to the right a bit. We found the exit, so we know we can get out of here. Pretty much whenever. Nothing else here. Nothing in here. Nice, chan nice chandelier. Hot. Okay, and now we go wholesale into this section. This place really is one heck of a maze. I could kill these guys with one right click, but... We, we've got 350 arrows, let's see if we can't uh, save those for something a bit more difficult, like, I don't know, a large crowd. Uh, this way is shorter. In that there is less to explore up here. Oh, and there's a chest up here. Yay! We were right to not leave. As I was. Ah. Nothing here. Can I try and put an anarchy symbol on your middle fingers? Like as a tattoo or what? no button room. Hmm. The room in which we store no buttons. Uh, no, there's no pots in here either. Oh, on your nails. Ah. Eh. Go for it if that is your particular disposition, I guess. Full-blown anarchism, though, is a little on the side of being, uh, Naive at best, I guess, over the phrase. Um, but let's not get into that too much. Okay, I think... We have covered the entire map. Like, I don't see anywhere here of significance that we haven't already explored, so I think we're good. Yay! New objective, leave the crypts. We did it! <laughs> we have, by definition, already completed that. There is, in fact, an achievement for attacking the animals. Jeez. 
chest with a common sword. Eh. Okay, so that's this arm checked out. And there's a little one up there that we'll check out next. Anybody up here? Anything of value? No. How are we doing for... Okay, we have missed one secret, apparently, but we have found 20 free chests. Logically, then, I presume we haven't some... we have somehow... not... wandered right past. Is that a... a second hawk brand? Let's see what it comes with. The same in... I guess it's... No? It's different enchantments. But it's the same power. Freezing, looting, smiting, rampaging. Yeah. Actually, hang on. Rampaging. Rampaging is... 10% chance to increase your attack speed by 50% for a short time. After you defeat a mob. As opposed to... Accelerate, which is every time you shoot. Hmm. Don't know. I think I still prefer the, uh, the daggers for now. Investigate every crevice. Level up. alive up here. <laughs> Not anymore. And this, I think, is actually the exit. So presumably we've somehow missed a secret. Not sure exactly how, because we literally checked out the entire map. Secrets are also how you find the best, like, secret areas, so... Hmm. 52,000 damage. Defeated 97% of mobs, apparently. I suppose a few of them defeated me, but still. No healing done, that's a lie. Tasty bone. Okay, let's review. So, Tasty Bone, that is 46 damage to 51, so that is less useful. Armor, 18 to 25, uh-uh. Bow. Um, is not terrible, but it's worse than the one I've already got. Although, Fuse Shot is very good, especially for wherever, with Rapid Fire, because you get it more often. Definitely don't need that after the Diamond Pickaxe. Um... Universal 22 to 25. That one's rare, but this one is just straight better. More doggo. Unfortunately, you can only use it. You can only have one active doggo. Uh -huh. To the best of my knowledge, you can only have one of each different type of pet at a time. So let's see how this handles. Straight 50 damage, but it is literally right forwards. Can it hit that? Yeah. I almost look like I'm washing. <laughs> okay, and how about the Hawk brand? Cannot reach this guy, apparently. So, short range, relatively speaking. 32, 32, 51. Critical. Hmm. I'm guessing that won't be testable. Because those dummies can't take damage. Well, they take damage, but they... I don't know if they qualify for defeat, exactly. Hmm. All 
already wounded enemies. I don't know if I cancel that either. Hmm. Which of those would we say is better? I think it really just comes down to what enchantments you put on it. But that one has thundering, so gonna say that one's better. And that brings us to 1,026 emeralds. So let's go sink those into our blacksmith. Let's see if we can't get the thing up and look at for ages. Cutlass. Nope. Cutlass. Scale mail. Did you just, like, raid a pirate recently? Oh, we're gonna be stealing so much. Armor. Helpful. Okay. Okay, Grim Armor is useful for souls builds because it has a 3% lifesteal aura, but also it doubles the souls you gather. That said, however, um, not, not, not that great. Increased melee range and melee damage when you're at full health. Ooh, that's actually pretty useful for me. And thorns, also. Hmm. But it's too lower than that. I mean, I don't tend to spam my artifacts anyways, I guess. So there's that, but the AoE damage is nice. Hmm. Still, it is better than the other Grim Armor I have. Even though it had slightly more health to it. Okay, reinforced mail. Well, it's better than the other one I have, that's for sure. Evocation robe, the good old blues. It's one point down than my ember robe, and it only has one enchantment slot. So I think the ember robe just outclasses it. Really, I like I like the blue, of course, but I think the ember robe keeps it. And that scale mail is identical to that, except that that has two more. That has more enchants, so leave that. Okay, um... Anything? No. Two enchants, it's nice, but that also has two enchants. It's not worth it. Okay, how about you? Great hammer. This is pretty much what I do every time I go. Ooh, hit a crossbow. Not bad. It's slow, but not bad. A rapid crossbow at power 24. Okay, having a look at that. Only one slot. Hmm. Although, granted, you do have fuse shot. Hmm. Increase it to eight. Just flat increase your attack speed. Oh. I feel like Accelerate might go higher than 20%, and for cheaper than 6 points. But, just rapid fire on a rapid crossbow. Imagine if I had Fuse Shot as well. I'm just gonna stick that in, and give that a whirl, just to see how absurd that gets. Yeah, imagine that with Accelerate. That'd be glorious. How about to know? Sticking stick in with the Lightning Harp right now. And no. I actually just want to check, check out these uh, sickles. Yeah. That's pretty speedy. Hmm. But the enchantments are garbage. Like it has, it's pretty speedy, and it has more damage, and it ha like attacks a wider range. But it's not actually all that good. Okay, we have enough for one more visit to the blacksmith. 
The weapon that I'm looking for is called the Frost Scythe. Thingy. Wolfy armor. Health potions healed nearby allies. Yeah, we had that on Monkey. Okay. We have cleared the creepy crypts. Shall we check out the soggy swamp? And once again, that's two points higher. Let's see if it makes a difference. The Frost Scythe is similar to my Daggers of Frost, but uh, it also works on- it also helps with souls. A coven of wicked witches live at the heart of the sinister swamp. I feel like we've been here before. Hang on, yeah. Did I click the wrong thing? Or have I just been there that many times? Uh, oh, Soggy Cave. That's what I was going for. Not my fault they're both named Soggy something. Q Fox is just placed right that they look like one they're in one of the item slots. Uh, yeah, there we go. Q Fox is now my potion. <laughs> I already yeah, I've already missed a section. Okay. Q Fox, the most powerful of items. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I can even physically get up there, actually, so that's just gonna have to remain unexplored, despite the fact that it's clearly a pretty significant chunk of terrain. Huh. Oh well. Those guys have the same AoE damage aura as I do as well. That was a really bad situation. Oh, I was lucky to get out of that. There are builds that can get you the uh, shadow form effects more frequently. Like stealth, sort of like a uh, rogue assassin kind of builds. 100% increase to cuddles. Oh. Okay. So this is where the cave really starts. Oh lordy, it's a multi-region. Oh no. Okay guys, we have five different doors to go through. <laughs> okay, four, because one of them is blocked off currently. Which do we take? One, two, three, or four. <laughs> hmm. Nick says four? Mars says three. Nick's, Nick is changing his vote to two. Does that mean we're going through one? Am I seeing the pattern here? Two votes for free. Here we go. I swear I just heard a piston go off. Uh huh. Ah, oh, it wouldn't be that easy, would it? Oh 
Okay, that's the witch gun. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Oh, nope, there's another one. Fun fact, you can't actually shoot their potions out of the air. Okay. Scrims in the chat for that. Oh, we could be here a while. Okay, this is a Simon Says kind of, well, sort of a Simon Says pick. That's not regular behavior. Oh. That's tricky. Um. That's very tricky. Oh, I don't know how to solve this. Nick can? Okay. Well, good for you. If I leave it there, Nick, can you figure out how to do this? Because I'll be here all night. This is not the kind of puzzle my brain is good at. <laughs> but we need that to get out of here. Also, Gilgamesh is just constantly walking into the wall. these kinds of puzzles? Yeah, they're, my brain doesn't do them. The two button lifts two blocks. That changes one of them, but it always results in their one day being one down. The four does the same thing as the one, but in the opposite direction. And that's just the middle three. Which it toggles. Okay. Yeah, the third button lifts, like, toggles the middle three. The two button changes those two. And these two ship like uh ripple along in opposite directions only changing it only changing two but always changing two assuming there's at least one so if we can get the first and the last one to be on wait how why is that not okay Marsh thinks they know how to do it? Do let me know. That's that's the closest I can do, which is the exact opposite of what we're trying to do. First and last, that's progress, but now we need to get the middle one. Hey! I did it! <laughs> Took me like an hour, but I did it! <laughs> oh, and it just brought me back out. Wait, so does this door not... 
Does the door I came in not... Oh, right, so we found a loop. So that goes to... Door 3 goes to door 4. Okay. Took me five minutes, yes, and many, many attempts. Okay, let's try door 2. Hopefully it's not also full of murder. Or at least let it be full of less murder. What so? that a lot of them dropped food. Oh, butts. There's another one, but there's only two buttons and there's three. Okay, so that does the same thing that the fourth button did for us. Well. That was way easier. <laughs> God, I should have come through here the first time. Okay, that means we've done all of these, doesn't it? Does that mean this top one is now open? Okay. Progress! It's a good thing I'm a genius. And uh, upgraded soul healer, yep. And regular deckers. So that is a significant improvement. Which means more health heals, so I will gladly take that. And daggers, which are a dramatic improvement over the ones I'm carrying here. But not over my dying hope, my fangs of frost. Area cleared. <laughs> There's gonna be more. Like, they've established a pattern here. There's gonna be more. Return to boot. Secrets found, chests opened. I'm all done, what do you know? Oh, just literally there. Wow. <laughs> oh, feel better soon, Sakura. That was faster than I thought it would be. 100% chests, 73% mobs, because eventually they killed me. 47% of projectiles and 14,000 damage. Yeah, another soul healer, which is also an upgrade over the one I just got. It's marginal by like one point, but every little helps. And I came out of that with 175 emeralds, as opposed to the thousand I came out of, uh... The crypt with. Yeah, it's not even good. Okay. So I've been through the Fiery Forge. Let's take a look at the Desert Temple, shall we? Uh, just most of the same stuff. But we could do... Shall we do two points higher? Sure. Let's have ourselves a challenge. Ooh, this place looks really nice. Deep within these halls awaits a powerful necromancer, a forgotten ruler of a nameless kingdom. The necromancer wields an enchanted staff that holds the power to summon the undead. We must destroy it, before the arch Illager can claim it in his tiny evil hands. That would surely be the doom of us all. Okay, welcome to the land of the Tomb Kings, everybody. Also known as the Ancient Egypt Path. <laughs> Which is as semi-mandatory as it is kind of cliche. And also questionably sense like racially sensitive. <laughs> I 
Ooh, he's a tough guy. Husk's tough. Got it. Okay, just to the right. And that's the way that the game wants us to. What the hell are you? What the hell is that? Uh, don't recognize whatever that is. It's like a tiny fire ghost or something. Oh jeez. These are tough dudes. Criminy husks are tough. Clearly a ghost? I mean, yeah, but Minecraft doesn't have ghosts. Minecraft has skeletons, it has illagers. I have no idea what that is. I guess there's a couple more things in this game that don't actually occur inside of Minecraft, but... They're mostly bosses. <laughs> like, things that have actual, like, big, big health bars on your screen. You're playing modded Minecraft now? Yeah. Clearly that kind of thing was added by Biomes of Plenty. with the speed of attack on the Fangs of Frost. Strength potions, little OP. Have a drinky. Okay. Uh, yep, clear this. What are we looking for here? Four secrets and eight chests. Yeah, those are creepy as all get at, at least. I'm a little, a little full of uh, arrows at the moment, but I think I'll be fine. Is there literally any other way to go? Nope. Supplies, it me. And even the skeletons here are taking a bit more damage. Worrying. Find the golden key. Just stun lock. The husk. Thief armor. Eh, not that good. Oof. I can hear the key. Right here. Gotcha. Now I have to go that way, which includes a dude with a glaive. Okay, hang on. Back to the door. Okay, now deal with these guys. Still here? No? They appear to have just gone. Ugh. Getting really, uh. 
well and truly Indiana Jones here. That's not something I've programmed. Okay. There's a door here which does not lead to our thing here. Does this count as a secret? Not yet. Looks, uh, looks innocent enough. Let's have a look. Have a poke. Oh, off the edge. button. I wonder if I should push that before I know what it is. It's probably fine. Ooh, there's a chest. Presumably if I push all of these buttons, I will get access to that chest. Husks! Oh, they're huge as well. They're like big... Beefy boy husks. Jeez. Haven't seen a rolling boulder yet? Yet. <laughs> Being the operative word. the use of my soul healer. It's there to keep me alive. I should use it more. Goodbye, shortbow. You were probably worthless. Oh no, I picked it up. <laughs> One chest open. That doesn't count as a secret, apparently. Well, heck you then, I guess, game. Okay. Up and to the left. Well, here we go. Power up my accelerate, piggy. There we go. Whoa, not what I went to go. Oh boy. Ooh, a soul knife. I'll have to check that in a moment. I think I have tested that, but it's very slow. Okay. It's a decently powerful one, but yeah, this is pretty slow. Leeching, that's nice. Echo, chains, firebug, hmm. But yeah, like, this, it, this helps with the souls, but it only attacks for straight forwards. It's powerful when it does it, but... I still prefer this. For at least the time being. Uh, nothing to the south. Okay. Big beefy boy husks. I mean, yeah. They're the husks of big beefy boys. That's why they're so tough. Oh, hi there. Require additional souls. Yours will do. Again, should not be so shy about using the healing that I have at my disposal. Ooh, chest. 
strength potion. That's going to be very useful right now. Big chest. I don't know if I killed that thing, but uh, it's gone for the moment at least. Mm. Ah, really, very useful. That's got two enchants, so we'll keep that. And it's the higher of the three. <sighs> I wonder if wearing the Grim Armor would be worth it right about now for the Lifesteal Aura. Don't know if that even works on Undead. Gonna call them Stud Muffins? No, that tome is reserved for Andy. When he's playing too, and he's playing David Topless. Okay, so yep, we've checked all of that out. We still haven't found any of these secrets, surprisingly. Huh? Open fire! Frenzied and double damage. Oh, joy. Okay, game says that way, we go this way. Chester. And you're high from the dentist? A little bit, yeah, that helps. Don't know when that'll next happen, but yeah. I just avoid the husks where I wonder. Yeah, you better run. Ninja wizard. <laughs> okay, there's a pot up there. Next to it, of course. Mm -hmm. We can definitely handle them one on. Oh, and there's one of these guys. Whew. Like the fact that they can survive that is by itself already a bad sign. Because basically nothing survives that. I use it to clear rooms. Whoop. Never soul knife. Let's have a look at that. 22. Oh, and double enchants. Yes, you are definitely good. Leeching, fire aspect, echo, chains, committed, poison glare. Mm, still not as good as my frost daggers, but I'll take it. Okay, that's the end of this branch, so we have to go over that way now. <laughs> wow. Just. Aww. I, I saw one of them get wrecked by that. I was hoping to see more. Okay, so there's things that- there's buttons on the edges that start those moving, but the buttons don't reset. Come and get me, guys! more. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Not that much. Fortunately, I have a full block range. Lying is cheesing it. Yes, but you know inevitably I'm going to wander into one of these. Right, that's just gotta happen at some stage. Also, I need to- I, I feel like I should code those, but I don't know how necessarily to implement it. Because those are obviously multi-blocks. Whew. 
want to be stuck here. Bye. Get wrecked. <laughs> Just push the boss off the boss off the edge. I'm sure that's happened in Dark Souls at some stage. I guess I'm fairly certain that's who that is. I missed anywhere? Not quite. Yeah, nothing left there. Okay. Am I running out of map here, guys? Some very scenic little blocks around here, but it's mostly basically just carpet and pots, which is... Oh, goody. Oh, goody. Oh, boy! Is that it? Nope, of course it's not. Feels like the situation where I come up here and I push that. Whew. Oh boy. And at no point did I walk into that, although I got close. Acceleration. Oof. That definitely hit me there. But not enough to kill me, so it doesn't count. This is once again straightforwards. Yeah. The gender neutral term for cat boy is Neon Binary. Ah. I mean, I, I can't disagree. <laughs> oh, that's a ghost. Good, I can catch them. I can, ca I can attack them outside of their detection range. Cool. Okay then. Am I cheesing them perhaps? Yes! <laughs> Ooh, loot pick. With some grim armor. Which is better than my existing one, but it only has one enchant. One of which is Snowball. Come, Gilgamesh. Get rid of the guy who's shooting fire at me. Oh, but... Are 
they're dead. I think they're dead. Ow. Oh. Gotta be honest, I'm not sure I can complete this. <laughs> Oh, hey, level up. Which means I can level up the accelerate on this. That's a lot of peeps. Yeah, especially when two of them are summoners. Packed me into a corner so that my own knockback couldn't get me out of it. <laughs> oh. Let's make an ancient ruin in Minecraft. I mean, nothing's stopping you. You'll have to supply your own ghosts, though. This is a big room. Oh boy. I literally just have to shoot these guys off the screen to know to have the slightest clue if they're dead. Fortunately, ricochet helps, because it means when I hit their minions, I potentially hit them as well. Just some gems, some emeralds, I should say. I keep calling them gems, I'm not sure why. They're not exactly like a band airing with a, uh, like a, a, the headliner for a band called the Holograms or anything. Everywhere? That looks like everywhere. That looks like my screen at least has rendered everywhere at some point. Fetch the staff. Sounds easy. What could possibly go wrong? It's gonna heal. Oh yeah, that, mm, that looks like death. Can't get up there. That door's closed. Skeletons on the other side could shoot me, though, which is nice to know. <laughs> gotta move, gotta move. Kill ads because they're the only way I'm gonna heal. There were more ads, weren't there? I feel like there were more ads than this. Oh, yes, there were. Oh boy. Okay. Oh. It's fine. I've got lives left. And he's already injured now. Now I have the lives of his minions. Their shields do wear out, that's good to know. Ok, 
Okay, those shields are very fickle, it seems. They're very, very vulnerable. Like, I'm breaking them in one shot. Don't want to be that close to him. Ah. That, okay, I got a little... I got a little ahead of myself there. Like a pixel ahead of myself. Wither armor? Hello. Oh. Damage reduction. But not lifesteal. Oh, and you still have the lifesteal. Okay, so you're the unique version of Grim armor. And you have two attacks. Go away. That's pretty nice. And I could even put the cooldown on you if I wanted. Which I don't, again, I don't generally tend to use, but you, forens, make a lot of use of forens. Hmm. These, these enchants nuts are great. Ho, oh, looking pretty metal. Oof. And it increases the number of souls I can carry. Okay, check the map. There are these areas off to the edges, but there's no way to get to them. You guys can get it right away. You go. And more grim armor. I'm I have graduated from wizard to bl to cold blooded mercenary. See you there. More grim armor. <laughs> it's practically falling off their bones at this point. Is that it? There we are. We apparently have found zero secrets, despite the fact that we've completed the entire map. And a chest. We've somehow missed a chest. Hmm. The necromancer's staff is destroyed. Once again, the arch illager is thwarted. Those subtitles were back to front, but okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm looking pretty dang metal. Anyways. Ha! Ah, okay, that's what I've got for right now in a moment. However, at 9, I'm going to be doing some carousel with some random games with the patrons. So, hey, we'll catch you all then. Hope you've all enjoyed this uh, second look and significant upgrade, I want to say, of uh, my character here in Minecraft Dungeons. Catch you next time. Which is saying in about 10 minutes. Catch you in a bit. <laughs>